Convincing robot. I practice at home, alone. My name is Brian. Welcome to my room. This is not where the magic happens. Okay, the magic happens in the confines of marriage. This is my project. Instead of a 3,000 word essay, I'm doing a few minute video. Now what am I going to be talking about? Interactivity and networking. The future of technology is growing. The way that I'm speaking to you on YouTube, on the interwebs. I mean, just a few years ago, we couldn't even do this. And I saw a video of a baby playing with an iPad. Like, what, what is that? Have you ever heard of the word called singularity? Well, it's the whole idea that one day, this robot race will dominate the world and basically take over. Maybe some of you play World of Warcraft and you take it really seriously like it's another life. Maybe you've heard of something called Second Life. Second Life is basically a simulation on the life we live. We live as a different character in a different world. People don't even think it's a video game anymore, and it isn't. People actually get to go on there and get therapy. I saw this video where they give birth. It's... it's... I read this article by this guy called David J. Chalmers, and he talks about the potential of singularity. There's artificial intelligence, and artificial intelligence is able to create artificial intelligence plus. And if artificial intelligence plus exists, that means artificial intelligence plus can make artificial intelligence plus plus. Is if we have AI, it can basically develop itself. Now Marvin Minsky, Minsky, Minsky. He believes that one day robots will basically inherit the world. As us as humans, we have our limitations. I am going to die one day. I am limited in my knowledge. Robots, if they were in our brains and if they could replace our brains with a computer, we would be the perfect race. And that's the thing with, with what David J. Chalmers was talking about, AI. We could be that AI. We could be that new robot race. Maybe it's really about us adopting this technology within us. David J. Chalmers believes this is going to happen. He believes, honestly, that we are going to become this robot race and maybe in a hundred years from now. And I'll be honest, I think it's creepy. I don't want technology within me. I like the fact that I can turn off this camera, I can turn off my computer. There's an aspect of limitations that is so important to us. There's this concept of empathy that everyone needs. The concept that we need to die. If we don't die, we will not understand life. If you if you had technology stuck in your brain all the time and you could never run away from it, would you really be you? So this is what I would say to David J. Chalmers. I am a hater, son. I don't want this whole singularity thing to happen because I don't think it's natural and I think it's important that we die. It's important that we suffer. It's important that we understand these things. Video games are cool and all, and all that kind of business is great in simulations. But when we go too far, we lose that aspect of who we are. If you had an opportunity to become the super you, where you were embedded with all this technology, and you have no limitations and you won't die, would you do it? But, what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Okay? Yo? Boo, 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 robot out. Boo, boo, boo.